Hi, my name is Lori Popow, and I just came back from a special event called Pisanki at the Gardens. Because these were live events, the audio and video aren't studio quality, but I know you will still enjoy them very much. Okay, I'm Marilyn Henderson, and I'm just going to talk about some things that I've learned from working with alcohol inks. I was fortunate enough last year to sit next to Susan Bluebaugh, and so I not only saw her demo, but I got to watch her work and ask her lots of questions. And so some of these hints are things she said, and some of them that are what I've learned just from working with them through the year, because I've gotten to where I just love using it as a background color. Okay, so I'm just going to go over this list, and again, this isn't a beginning to end how to do this. This is just odds and ends of hints. One, um, if you've ever worked with alcohol inks, you know you dab it on to get the effect you want. Susan suggested that you dye it a pale black background color that will blend with what you're dabbing on so you don't end up with a white spot if you miss something. So I do, I will dye on a pale color and then start dabbing on and then usually I will dab on some of the blending solution to make the colors run more to get more of the marble effect. To get this gold, uh, I had waxed the white and uh, then I dabbed gold over all this area and waxed what I wanted to stay gold. And then I use either alcohol or the blending solution to wash off all the extra gold to get rid of it. After you wax? I, after I've waxed the gold, I get rid of it. And sometimes with, with alcohol, I still have color left. An awesome orange will usually get rid of that. So after I've cleaned it with alcohol, if it's not clean, I'll spray it with awesome orange and, and then rinse it off. And usually by then I have a clean egg. I've had problems with alcohol not taking metallics off. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's a good mm -hmm. tip. Okay, and then I dab on the background. Then let's see. Oh, if I'm doing small areas, this is one I did here so it doesn't have the epoxy on it yet. It's not shiny. I have a hard time getting the colors to run and marbleize in small areas and just working with it here I found that if I dabbed it on and then let it sit till it was mostly dry and then dabbed another layer on on top of that I got more of the marble effect. Because I tried doing it with blending and it just made it look too dilute but dabbing on kind of two different layers of the color. You can also as soon as you've put it on blow it and that seems to dry it quickly so it goes into the little flowers. Uh-huh. Now, I was having it just clear out in the middle and all the color was at the edge and I wasn't getting the really marbled effect. And so I do blow it to make it dry quicker, but then dabbing more on seemed to give the marble effect. What did you do for the background on that? Okay, this one, I wanted a, a pale marble that looks like real marble. Um, it's one of the items down here. I cover the whole background with the blending solution and then just a little bit of color that I, I ah. want on, the, on that same one that has lots of blending solution and put it on and it'll still look like polka dots. So I take more blending solution and just keep working till it runs and starts looking like marble. When this one has epoxy on it, it fools people. They think this uh -huh. egg is going to weigh about a pound. They think it up and it because it looks so much like real marble when you do this and then put epoxy over it. Huh. Okay. Have you ever tried any other varnishes or just just epoxy? I like the look. Um, I spray them lightly before epoxy. I use that. Um, what is that stuff that we've got over there? Krylon? Krylon. The, it's not Krylon. It's Rust-Oleum 2X. Yes. Something okay. Like that. uh, that's one thing I want to mention. Uh, alcohol inks run when you spray them if you get a wet spray. So I spray them. I just barely touch spray onto it first and then a little bit more and then maybe by the third time I completely cover it. And if I'm putting another varnish over, I want to always use a matte spray because slick varnishes don't seem to go well over the, over the glossy spray. And especially epoxy tends to separate 
and leave holes if you try to put it on over a glossy oh, okay. surface. But if you do it over matte, it, mm. you still have to watch to see if it's pulled away from some spot. Golden MSA, the same golden MSA you use on eggs. Yeah, you can oh, use Sandy, that. You can use that. Mm -hmm. That's what I use. And on these, let me pass this around. You can see there's a bare hint of sparkle in it. And this was uh, the metallic powder that I ordered from somewhere. It was what Susan had recommended. But mm -hmm. when I blend the epoxy, I put a little dash of that in it and blend it with the epoxy mm -hmm. so that you, it's just, just a hint because I don't want anything oh, no, gaudy. Like, oh, that's, it doesn't look that uh -huh. Now I wanted to talk about combining Sharpie with alcohol inks. I saw one Susan had done where she had this beautiful tree with the different colors behind it. I said, how did you get that black on there? And she said, it's Sharpie. Sharpie's just an alcohol ink. <laughs> so, well, I discovered by experiment that you've got to do the background first and let it dry and then draw with your Sharpie mm. on top of that. Mm. And then again, do your very light spray, and then a little bit heavier spray, and then a solid coat of spray. And then you can put your epoxy on top of it if you want to pass that around. And I dabbed a little bit of silver in the center of that. I was trying different edge finishes. That's a Sharpie edge finish. And this is painting on the metallic uh, alcohol ink. On that. In that case, I wouldn't use the golden MSA over Sharpie. I've had Sharpie bleed. Okay, well, Sharpie will bleed in any of these yeah. unless you first do the... Uh, you're doing the... I'm doing this. Right, yeah. If you're putting... Very, very light spray. Yeah, if you put I mean, golden MSA straight on it. Uh -huh. Well, putting uh, epoxy straight on just totally yeah. ruins it, yeah. too. Sharpie okay. and alcohol inks are just ruined mm -hmm. by epoxy. Mm -hmm. The question I that have I have problem. is, have you, mm -hmm. have you noticed the difference between black Sharpies and colored Sharpies? I don't know. I've only used the black Sharpies. Okay. Because okay. I've tried colored Sharpies and they've been a disaster. And the only thing I've succeeded with is black. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if I've covered all the areas. That I've... Okay. In cleaning the wax off, these are the, the, this is just going over what Susan said. Oil the egg then heat it and blot it. Make sure you don't rub it because you'll just make the alcohol ink colors all run together. And then you can finish cleaning it. I like it best to put it in mineral spirits in a little bowl and roll it around. And you can take it very lightly with a toothbrush and go over the areas, particularly where you're trying to get it white. I have a hard time. Some of the color seems to color over the um, the white, and I will take one of those little pointed Q-tips with uh, mineral spirits or rods and all of them and try to finish cleaning my white to get the, the little dab off. Okay, I talked about the varnish that you've got to do the multiple light coats. I think that's about everything that I wanted to say. I think they make wonderful backgrounds for Christmas ornaments. You can see the different colors mm -hmm. you get. It's hard to get the same effect twice if you want to that look just like, just alike. Um, it just doesn't happen. <laughs> okay, any other questions? I've got a list. You can have a handout so here. Uh -huh. Did you like wax this first and then do your alcohol ink? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I wax that, then do the alcohol ink. And I found when I was doing this jewelry, I made the mistake on one of doing the Sharpie first and then blobbing the alcohol mm. ink over it, and the Sharpie just went everywhere. Mm. So you got to do the background first and then put or the Sharpie on top. Or if you want black color, you can do that. <laughs> if you, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's it. Thank so you. Help yourself. I, one of one of one. I hope this video has helped you. Please subscribe to my channel to get updates of new videos. Visit my website at lauripopal.com. Hugs! <laughs>